Hey everyone. Dan Jackman here, aka Cheeky Licks. Has your playing become too 9 to 5 sounding? Are you over the age of 25 and still playing in drop D? I'm here to help you. <clears throat> We're adding some cheekiness to your licks. Uh, these lessons will be short, brief, and for people that don't want to learn theory like myself. Um, I'll be using my Gibson uh, 1976 SG today. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let us begin. Hey, this first lesson of Cheek is um, straight out of the 70s rock um, book, Book of 70s Rock. Um, and it sounds like this. Pretty cool, right? You can play it anywhere. Great for building solos, building tension, um, or even adding to riffs, for example. Something like that, or anything. Um, this is how you play it. Using two high strings, so we'll, for this example, we'll play it on the fifth fret. You want to take your first finger uh, and place it on the high E string of the fifth fret. Um, then you want to take this finger, what is this, ring, ring finger? Take your ring finger and place it on the eighth fret. And this is a shape that you always use. You can play this anywhere, it's just got to be, you've got to keep in mind that you're always going to be one, two, three, four, four frets from your first finger. And then basically what you do is you're just bending. I place my, my uh, second finger here on this fret just to give it some strength. It's really hard to do it that way. In fact, I can't do it. Um, and yeah, that's just practice that. It sounds really cool. It's in like lots of rock and roll music. You can play it anywhere. You can add some widdly widdlies. Really cool. Great for building solos. Great for making evil sounds. So yeah. Um, Tune in tomorrow for the second cheeky lesson. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, give me three Abens and one Hail Nigella. Goodbye.